Remember they're changing my voice and they're also changing my images. They're trying to make it so I look like some kind of kid or something and I look far more handsome and mature than that. And you know that their system, right, hazing, you know, military, police hazing, fraternity hazing, right? They're trying to put a fog, right, mystery, mist, airy, right, over your mind, okay? So when we look at the dating process, why do women say, hey, I want to date the financially stable cop or guy in a uniform, corporate suit, okay, or anyone like that? Right, military, or anyone who's financially stable as a result of conforming to the state, especially from a hazing culture. Military frats, college frats, what have you. Why is it so easy for them to get the attractive female? Why doesn't their parents say, hey, he's right, and this picture far overkills what you should know already, and I'm very disappointed in you, and I want you to stop everything and rally to this guy and stop being a dumb bitch so you can go to heaven. Why don't they say that to them? You see these guys in the picture, they're mocking you know, they're fake white image of Christ, but they're more mocking the idea of me. Now, this is where your checks made it. Racist, white, Jew, LGBT, pay very close attention. This is where your check made it. One of many, many, many places where you're obviously checkmated. It is a matter of characteristics to the agnostic, not just to the, to the Christian. Characteristics, right? You don't pick grapes from thorn bushes or thistles. What are the characteristics of the Son of God? Right? The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. What kind? A holy warrior. What kind of uh, language is Hebrew? An Afro-Asiatic language. Even if it was an Afro-Asiatic language in fucking Antarctica or America, it's, you know, it's Afro-Asiatic. So the spirit is Afro-Asiatic. So you see, there I have the gi on. It's an Asian gi. And I'm part black, part white, part Caucasian. Afro-Asiatic. Afro first. Patriarchal line. Right? Before Abraham was Nimrod. Now, let's look at it in terms of agnostic for those of you who are too stupid to be able to translate the bible's morals into universal morals okay the characteristics of the top martial arts ever who deals in universal pinpointing moral precision who lives focus moral intensity is greater than some government bootlicking coward that's mocking him by far 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 if you don't know that do you know that you know Cruella Deville is the villain in in um 101 Dalmatians do you know that Ursula is a villain in Little Mermaid? If you don't know, then my character, characteristic, and spirit is greater than the state, okay? And greater than people who won't obey God through me, okay? Who won't obey moral precision if you're agnostic through me. What the fuck else don't you know? I mean, my goodness, how stupid are you? And when people hear this, if anyone who hears this, hears this, they know I'm a brain searching son with an over nine year top martial artist challenge, okay? And you're just people who won't admit basic and vital moral truths. You won't admit these obvious moral truths. Okay, what does that say? That shows that there's an extreme wisdom gap. There's an extreme intelligence gap. There's an extreme masculinity and manhood gap. There's an extreme gap in terms of value and importance, right? The world can do without people who won't admit I'm right, but the world is going straight to hell without me. And that's what the Bible says in Isaiah 30, in Isaiah 34, in Revelation 18. It says the magic spell of the devil is going to transform the world into evil, right? The water of life in the world is going to turn into pitch. Okay, and it's going to be ignited by fire and turn into hell, the top layer of hell. It's turning into the top layer of hell incrementally as their sins are piled to heaven. That's what Revelation and Isaiah is saying.